Hey, Vampire Logan here. Uh, we are going to play some more Avatar Noir. And uh, we are, our adventurers have traveled to the uh, Fire Skull Island, which is a Fire Nation slash pirate island. And uh, it's actually several islands. Um, and the one uh, that they arrived, or they arrived on two of the islands last time, two of the characters, um, Edris and um, uh, Haku, went to the um went on the pirate ship that brought them to uh the town and they did a little bit of a, a pub crawl in the town part and then moved on to uh the or sorry the dock town part and moved on to the main town part uh with the accompanying uh the pirate captain uh long Wan silver and uh <laughs> And then uh, um, at the same time, the other two, uh, Atka and Lee, decided to investigate the volcano at the back, uh, volcano island at the back of the uh, base behind the town. And they arrived uh, on top of that and uh, did some investigating. But um, some things were unclear from last time uh, what happened there. So we're just going to redo that part um, and get a little more clarity on it. So we're going to start with them uh, over here. And I don't know if anyone's in Tailspire, but uh, just showing that on the uh, as a sort of a visual aid. And so um, let me just get uh, the two characters. Just drag so quick. Lee and Atka. Hmm. Okay, so you guys have arrived at this um, island. You got dropped off at the at the back area, um, a little sort of sub island. Uh, was oh, over it's here. The room of the cool. um, back here somewhere. Like, is that a big cooking pit? Like, where's the grill? <laughs> oh yeah, here's where you guys you got dropped off behind here, and um, and went up to the climbed up the back of this the front of it has a um it's like a skull no so this this is the back the other side has the skull oh yeah here it is i did a little adjustment to this to make it more like a volcano so there's the skull island so you guys went around the back of it and um Climbed your way up. Uh, there was a guard tower here with some guards in it. Uh, you avoided them and snuck past and then climbed up here. And you guys were hiding. Uh, I'm going to say uh, instead of separating, you just hid together because there's not that much different to see over here. Um, so we'll just describe what you actually see. So last time you saw some, some uh, monks there. But uh, this time, actually what you saw is, so this is the volcano here, some fire in there, and um, you see some, you still see the monks, but they are actually practicing, um, they're pulling fire and lava out of the volcano and doing stuff with it. So they're, they're lava bending. Lava, okay. And you see them doing that, and... You see uh, kind of an old man dressed in like kind of tattered robes and uh, um, like pants and a, and a long shirt. And uh, he's he's directing them, but he's he doesn't look happy about it. He's showing them kind of how to do this stuff, but he doesn't seem happy. And you notice that these are actually um, firebenders because they are controlling fire as well as lava. But uh, lava is normally an earthbender thing. So this seems unusual to you, especially Lee. You've heard of lava bending before, um, but you haven't heard of fire benders doing it. Oh. And um, if you, uh, yeah, so you see this guy teaching them. There also, uh, there are some monks uh, in the back of this uh, building here. Um, you can see that they are uh, studying some scrolls and uh, preparing to... They're taking turns with this guy teaching them. He teaches about um, four or five at a time. 
and then the other ones go and study the scrolls and then come back. You watch them for a little while and you see that happen um, because they get tired doing it. And uh, they also are really, really struggling. They're not really able to do much with it. They pull up the lava and it's just sort of flopped over. And and uh, when when the guy um, uh, shows them what to do, he's he seems to do it very well. He can pull it up, tie it, uh, make it swirl in a circle. He can do all kinds of stuff with it. He can make it go from uh, like hot lava and then cool down and create like a cage, stuff like that. So he That's seems cool. to be the one that knows how to do this, and he's teaching them. But he's you um, actually, yeah, Lee, make a. Um... If you make a check to see to assess the situation, I can give you a little bit more information. Is that plus focus or creativity? Uh, assess the situation is um, creativity. That is a one, uh, and I got a nine total. Okay, so uh, you get the impression that. Um, uh, he may not be actually teaching them properly. You think he might be kind of fudging it a little bit so they don't learn it as well. Uh, you've learned from a very good um, master, and you know that um, you know there's better ways to, to teach people. But these guys don't seem to know or notice. They just think, oh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> um so I, I talked to Akka and I'm like, hey, that that guy, like, he's he's not they're not those aren't friends over there. Like they this guy's this guy's like under duress or something. So we need to we need to we need to get these we need to get him separate from these other people and, and see what the hell is going on here because this i mean this like reeks of 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 foul play right and this guy doesn't seem like he's in on it what what do you have any ideas oh a couple more things you notice also that he is very tired and nobody seems to care um he's he it's like you guys are there at like um eight or nine in the evening so it's just getting dark and there he's still they're still pushing him to to train these guys. All the other guys get to take a rest and a break, and he doesn't seem to get one. So he's like one of the monks that, like, the rest of them are reading the scrolls? Uh, the rest of the monks yeah, are the ones that are learning from him. They are all dressed fairly well. And uh, he's the only one who's kind of dressed like a... Like, he looks like a street person. He's just tattered clothes and not treated very well. Okay. Yeah. He's an he's an old guy too, so or older. So maybe he's being forced to teach them. Mm -hmm. That's right. I when does Haku and Edris show up? So you guys are still doing your thing at the bar, and you're you're transitioning over to the other bar, out while uh, they're watching. Bar hopping. Yeah. So <laughs> okay. We'll meet up with you guys after whatever they do here. We'll cool. bring you guys over together. To I'm go to gonna go grab some something to drink. Here we. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um... I, think probably, I think you're probably right. There's we know they have like you know captives here doing work like slaves, and I don't know. Like it seems like you know like. Uh, one thing I noticed is like this guy's not trying very hard to teach these people, right? So like that that makes me think even more like what you said, like he's he's being forced to do this, right? So maybe I mean he has to sleep at some point, right? Like at least we can see where he goes. So maybe we can bust him out. I totally want to bust him out. Cause I could use some lava, lava bending too. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> um. One thing you guys think is that um, you're here, you, you remember that you're here to rescue um, two people that you know of. Uh, so you might want to coordinate that so that when you rescue everybody that you can just leave. Because if you rescue one, then what are you going to do with them while you're kind of waiting to get the other one? How big is our airship? How many people do you think we can 
Well, the, the they're big. Mm-hmm. They're like twenty five people. I think our ship is quite twenty five people ish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get okay. in there. Probably a little more if we stretch it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. So okay. You well, that's... To, talk to anybody or? Do we just go and, and meet Haku and Edris and tell them about it? It looks like they're they're probably like here often because they have like all their stuff up here for like living there. So I'll say you watch long enough to like okay, the sun goes down, they decide to to let him rest. So they they some you notice that two um uh, there were actually also some some uh, soldier guards there, Fire Nation soldier guards. They're not in the usual Fire Nation like gear though. They look a little bit different than the f- the official Fire Nation troops, but they do have a uniform. It's more of a um. I mean, the Fire Nation's already has black stuff, but theirs looks kind of a little bit more sinister looking. So it's like gaudier. It's not like it's not like uh. It's not like um. No, it's it more. It doesn't look like it's like in intended to be an imposter or anything. No, that's right. It's more. It just looks more like um, I guess the word would be metal. It looks more metal. <laughs> so, okay. So, so we'll and these. To him. Okay, so these guys, um, yeah, some more guards come out from inside the building, and they take the old guy, and they um, uh, attach some some chains to uh like manacles and chains to him and they bring him inside the building and down some stairs and then the other guys the the other guys pack up their stuff and go inside the building too on top of the volcano yes there's this this little temple here yeah okay you can see it there's a building that goes down inside the mountain there so they go down inside the mountain with the man and the man yeah Okay, so there's, so there's a, there's a, there's a extra special loot opportunity slash party member, um, if we beat the mini boss. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll switch over to the um, where you guys were. Oh yeah, so this um anyone who didn't watch last week, this is the this is the um where the ship docked and uh let out the that's where that should be here. Hang on, let me just correct this a little bit. Can't have a ship land if there's a bunch of rocks in the way. We did that. Look, he's earth bending. Yep. I was about to make an actually guy comment about how you can't change the setting, but <laughs> I mean, this is, this is canon, right? This you is to uh, this is a, a a representation. I'm sorry, the crudity of the model. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for the crudity of the model. Okay, so this is the town that you guys were in when you first arrived. You guys were in this uh, tavern, uh, having a few drinks. I think it's this building. And then you went through this gate, through the skull, into the town proper. And it's all inside here. And there's a couple levels in this inside area. Ugh. Ah. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can find where you guys were. It's the center Dark Souls of out of balance, man. <laughs> I love Dark Souls. No. It's the best thing about that game, I think, is all the is all the interests back into inbounds. Like it's like like it, it, they can't all be that perfect without the developers knowing about them, right? Like the wind, like. 
the first one that made me think that is the window on the cathedral by where you fight the the, the double boss in three. I was like, they put that there on purpose. They put that there so that cheaters could have an out to like get their <laughs> exploit like useful. It's amazing. Oh, I'm outside of it now. I don't know. Um, I wonder if I can jump to where you guys are. And in Bloodborne, you if you progressed a certain Here. way, you wouldn't have to deal with the uh, the um, machine gunner guy. If you do what? You come up, if you progressed a certain way in Bloodborne, you wouldn't have to deal with the uh, machine gun guy because you wouldn't get shot at at all. Really? Yeah, I put down Bloodborne after like an hour of dying to the machine gun guy. I'm not good at video games. <laughs> to be fair, I've seen so many people go. die to that guy. Somewhere. So... And they don't even get me started with Father Gascoigne. Like, no. There we go. You're in here somewhere. There, I think I found it. Oh, you're on the, around the other side. Uh... <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, it's really hard to find oh, things you're inside really of it. High models. Yeah, it's pretty good detail. Oops. Center the map now. There you are. Okay, so I you guys know. are here. Oh yeah, and you guys I are spilled that all over myself. So I'll say you guys arrive here at about the same time. You sneak over into the town um, after observing that stuff. There's at. Uh... Oh, actually, I made a map of this. So this is the outside of the tavern. I'm gonna jump to another map and then bring you all there. Um, so. Oh, uh... hello! Fancy meeting you out here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the Hello. Uh, uh this is our good friend Long Wan Silver. <laughs> He's an outstanding uh, citizen. Mr. Juan. Um Do you know any where to get a fish taco? That's racist as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I just in this tower in a little bit. I just imagine him being like, I love fish tacos. <laughs> it's my like favorite time. Like so while I set this guy this up, you guys can go ahead and do your catch up. So tell us about your adventure on the boat. Oh, it was fabulous. Uh, <laughs> We made Wait, friends. You, is Long One Silver here? Yeah, yep. he's he he's walked us over. Okay. <clears throat> if um, you guys want to meet outside before he you talk around him, he can he'll go inside right away. Okay. Yeah, that would be better. That's probably ideal. <laughs> I don't want him to feel left out. Oh, he goes in to get a drink. He's like, oh, okay. oh, 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 don't worry it. about me. You talk amongst yourself. We're we're gonna have a, a smoke and yes, uh, we'll see you inside. I'm and gonna I, go I get a drink. I throw him like two two coppers for him <laughs> to buy a drink. Oh, thank you very much. He's a pirate captain. <laughs> well, the first one's on me. Fair, fair, fair. There's more where that came from. <laughs> Like what a well shot. You can get him <laughs> drunk and then he buys all the rounds. Oh, and then he gives me his new. hat and his parrot. Oh nice. <laughs> I don't so even know if he has a parrot. No pirate anywhere ever gave up his hat or his parrot. <laughs> Alright, no pirate anyway. <laughs> um so you all right. This island, right? Like, so I just I just wanna I just want to put out there, there's a dude up on the volcano that does not want to teach these motherfuckers how to lava bend, but he is teaching them how to lava bend, 
And is I he feel an like earthbender? He's manacles. I mean, maybe. I don't know. They there was like some firebenders like bending lava. They like he was teaching them how to do it. So maybe he's a firebender. But like I, I guess yeah. he's probably an earthbender. Like he's pretty I've good never, at it. I've never heard of a firebender being a lava bender, but I have heard of a few earthbenders that could lava bend. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's really big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Haku looks over to it Edges. Like can you earth? Uh, can you lava bend? I, I and then don't I'm just know like, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is we're gonna need a big water source when we go and fight them, so that I can turn all the lava into stone right away. <laughs> uh, so, what... so wait, let me get this straight. There's this old guy who's trying to teach other guys in robes how to play with lava, and but he doesn't appear to want to teach them. What is this? Exactly. Some kind of. Exactly. <laughs> they put him in handcuffs and stuff and like make him sleep in the dark and shit. Yeah, yeah. That, that sounds rude. How, how do you. <laughs> you is that how. Turn the light in. <laughs> that's not no, how you treat your master? Yeah, Maybe that's not how you treat a master. Him. Maybe they have his family or something. We gotta find out. Well, what? let's. Let's uh, look into it. Maybe. Do you think it would be a good idea to ask around some of our fellow patrons at this fine establishment? Wait, dig up some more. Yeah, that's that's why we're here, right? We're looking. We're still looking for Mr. Chan. Mm -hmm. Chan is he a firebender? Yes, yeah. he's a firebender. Because okay, we so we man. know that firebenders can bend lava, and we know that Mr. Chan had a colored past where he was kind of like, you know. Do you think you saw you Mr. Chen? <laughs> didn't get uh -huh. close enough to know. Do you think? Do you think you saw that? Do you think that was Mr. Chen? Maybe. Did it look like Mr. Chen at all? I'm gonna just change his name to Mr. Chen now. <laughs> Is it Chan or Chen? It was Chan, but I'm gonna change it to Chen. You guys will say Chen. So. <laughs> do, do we have a picture of him so we know what he looks like? Can we um, no, you him? don't. Okay, so we, we're not sure. <laughs> You're not sure yet. Mm. But from the description of what you had heard uh, before, it does sound like it could be. Interesting. So okay. So, um, I mean, we don't know, but by all rights, it could be Mr. Chen. Like, it's, it sounds like, sounds like a possibility. Yeah, he might be help, helping them because he's worried that his family will get hurt. So he might be doing it to keep them safe, but... Well, that was the, this is the whole reason why we've come to this place is to go uh, go find him. Um, but we must see our new friend, uh, Long Feng. So, what's his name? Long Wan. Long Wan Silver. <laughs> Can we call him Silver for short? Sure. Yes. Please. All right. For long. Let's go. Let's go see how Silver's. Uh, me friends you, call me uh, silver, but me good, oh, he's here. Well, <laughs> me good friends call me long. <laughs> How long have you been here, long? <laughs> All right, so you're going in, I guess. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Lee's drinking door, um, yeah. a glass of whiskey that she is like. She keeps looking down at and like like uh widening her eyes because of how much whiskey is in this glass um <laughs> that's like when i go to america i'm like i'll have a double and then i'm like this whole drink is just pure alcohol i love it <laughs> they do be like that though okay there we go in canada you'll be lucky to like if it like has the slightest essence of alcohol <laughs> Wait, are the ounces there smaller than our ounces too? No, it's just um, American bartenders I've noticed just free, like hand, free hand, free pour. Yeah, fair. And here they like will use the little shot glass and not fill it to the brim and then they'll like dump it real quick and then ask yeah. for a tip. You have to get friendlier with the bartenders here. 
Grand Doom because that's not my experience with <laughs> Vampire Logan and I. But we had to be friends with the bartender. When yeah. we were friends, we would be like it would be like pure alcohol. Yeah, like just a little tiny, much. tiny would give tiny. us. Oh my god, he'd give us way too it. much. <laughs> oh we god. had to tell him to like... stop. <laughs> Oh, he was the Partying best. back in the 1900s sounds a uh, hell of fun. <laughs> uh, you. I'm kidding. I'm just a cute little millennial. We're not that much older than you. <laughs> I know. I'm joking. <laughs> All right. Where is everybody here? Is somebody missing? I think I'm the youngest one here. We're old, but not that. You She's probably missing. are. How old are you? I'm 24. Okay, one, two, three. Really? Who did I miss? It's just, just a wee little thing. thing. Where's Hacky? What about uh, Olivia? How old are you? Uh, oh, 492. Nice. Wow. Impressive. 27? Oh. Where did Hacky go? I'm right here. Where's your character? You dropped him somewhere and now he's gone. I didn't touch him. Maybe I'm still outside. Oh. You're there, but I, I can't see you. That's so weird. Voices. Look at that. You're there, but I can't see you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What um, the hell? Oh, you must be under the map. All right, let's just move you on again. Hacker's in the basement. Oh, he went up. Oh, he's breaking the boundaries. There we go. Oh, no, I'm flying. There. <laughs> Ow. Is there a space under the floorboards? Uh, looks like there is. Yeah. Probably should have pushed that down, but too late now. Okay, so you guys are in the tavern. Um, it's a, a pretty um, uh, a busy place. Uh, you guys just um, managed to get a table just as someone's leaving. Uh, pretty much all the tables are full. Everybody seems to be waiting for something. Uh, they're they're eating and drinking, but they're like, uh, um, oh, know, maybe they're waiting for a performance. A performance, yeah. Uh, Possibly. <laughs> is there a stage right behind you? A little stage there. Uh, oh, sorry, right behind uh, Edris. Ahaku sees an opportunity. <laughs> Can we give whoever's going to pre pre uh, perform, like, an intro? Yes! We're... Haku <laughs> looks at Edris, because he did such a fine job the last time. <laughs> Grabs it. it was Edris that was singing and dancing, right? Mm -hmm. There's, like, a whole dragon thing. The whole there. dragon thing, okay. yeah. He, like... Grabs his shoulder, walks him up to the stage, whips around and says, Ladies and gentlemen, or patrons of, patrons of this fine establishment, may I have your attention? Tonight is a very special night. We have the one, the only. Um, I'm going to come up with a fake name for Edris so I don't, he's not, yeah. I'm going to come up with the name. Um, we have... <laughs> Sparky Sparky Dragon Man here tonight <laughs> to perform. And, um, what's, uh, I can't think of anything else that's clever. So I kind of look at, um, <laughs> I, I kind of look around and. Lee, Lee, like, Lee, like, jumps on stage and she's like, Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the performance of your lives. We have Sparky Sparky Dragon Man and the... the Everything that I just Sparky. said. <laughs> <laughs> this is going awfully off, awful. <laughs> this is kind so, of not a good... <laughs> so Haku jumped up. So Haku jumped up and said that, and then Lee jumps up and Lee says it too. His, yeah. <laughs> okay. Then we kind of just look at Akka to be like. <laughs> well, that's, that's going on. I'm going around to all the tables while they're causing, you know, a scene. yeah, we're 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 distracting, getting everyone's attention. Okay. Yeah. So I'm taking pictures of water and I'm filling up bottles and and capping them and putting them in a bag, <laughs> a backpack that I carry. All right, um, well, no you, you're, you're filling up your, you, you would have like a 
tank of water that you would normally keep in your backpack so you can fill that up um now you uh so you hear the people as you're going around and these guys are doing this and everyone's looking at each other going there's an opening act oh okay yeah yeah i guess uh, um the hockey starts um making a beat and then looking at edris to be like come on start <laughs> does edris go up and do something yeah. It just kind of smiles and starts kind of like thumping his feet and like kind of like making fire like come from his hands a little bit like like it's breathing from his hands. Okay. And then he just kind of pushes his hands out and like sends out like a kind of like a phoenix like bird type thing that okay, splits um, off into the crowd. And people flies start away. looking around alarmed and uh, Long Long Wan says to uh, who's still over here. Atka, are you still near him? Oh. Uh, near who? Uh, long one. Are you somewhere else now? Like you were walking uh, around. I'm just you said. Fine. I'm walking around. I'm not next to not not next to him. Now. Okay. I will. I I I kind of come back to Long Thing. Okay. Uh, long, long Thing. I'm sorry. Silver. Silver. He goes. Hey, uh, lad, you might not want to be doing that. Uh, those who uh, can bend tend to uh, disappear out here. Oh, I can't wait to disappear. <laughs> we love a good magic trick. What do you? What, what does that mean? What does that mean? People who can bend disappear from around here. Yes. Well, uh, get your friend off the stage and uh, let's uh, have a little chat back here. Let's move. Haku takes that and is just like, oh, 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 well done, well done. That was technology. Bending. That was a light. Thank you for the light trick, Mister Sparky. Sparky. Display. Yes, that was. I'm so glad we got to uh, demonstrate that for you. It is part of our new technologies uh, over at uh, Varric Industries. <laughs> it just takes like a lighter out of his pocket, and he's yes. Like, See? See, not not bending. And we just kind of gracefully walk away, hoping that. Atka did something while we Okay, so uh, the audience... Um, actually, first of all, let's get you to make a check for how well you, sure. you did at what you're trying to do. I don't... Um, I'm... This is a totally a fail, but I so, want to have some fun. So for... Um, uh, for Lee and, uh, and Haku, um, I'm going to say... <laughs> It should be push your luck, but I'm gonna I'm say gonna push you out as a push. Yeah, uh, you can decide push your luck or plead with NPCs. No, I'm pushing harmony. Your luck. It's harmony or passion for Lee and Haku. Lee, yeah, this is yeah. for how well you uh kind of did your introduction for harmony. It's passion, and I have minus one, so that's a 12. Okay, and <laughs> uh seven <laughs> so so haku went up there and as uh uh he started his spiel he kind of did okay but he kind of fumbled it a bit and then so that's why lee jumped up and uh took over and was able to um uh bring the audience back they were kind of like starting to to wonder what's going on then uh edris came up and did uh his magic trick uh so <laughs> Now you need to roll a, a trick a roll, which is creativity, address, and see if you can okay. actually fool them to thinking it wasn't. It wasn't. I honestly minute. thought we were gonna sing or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have one creativity. Can you roll for me? Oh yeah. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's a seven, so that's an eight. Stage. So, uh, you think that they probably bought it? Or at least they're willing to pretend that they did? Everyone looks, like, a little bit uncomfortable for, for what happened, and so everyone's just, like, looks ready to ignore it. <laughs> they're just like, uh, can you get these guys off? <laughs> okay. And and they uh, um, you guys go back to your table and order some drinks, possibly some food, and uh, 
uh, uh, about 10 minutes later, um, someone comes down from above and uh, it's a, a female singer. And I'm just going to play the singing act. I'm going to play like a, a little um, plant. Plant a bit of broken. music here that it may get um, a DMCA claim. So I'll just let you guys like don't talk during this and then it'll and then I can at least just cut it out without losing any of the show. Uh, so I'll just play she like uh, she's a, a very um, a beautiful woman in a in a red dress with a, a slit up one side and uh, she's got kind of smoky eyes and like a long um, black hair June Aku's like planning to like how do I steal this woman Is that June? Her... no June's dead June probably Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear this. Hey, let me start. I can't this. right now. Okay, I'm gonna put it onto the stream. Okay. Um, I just have to go.
here to Okay, so you attempt to do that just before she goes up, and the two, two guards that are with her, um, they uh, uh, immediately, as soon as you approach with the drink, they immediately step in front of her and they go, no no autographs, no um, contact. Uh, uh, okay, so Julie's like, okay, can you hand her the drink down? Okay. And he takes he takes the drink and uh, doesn't hand it to her. <laughs> and then catch and eye? she, uh, yeah. Let's say you do. Um, yeah, you catch her eye. She gives you a sort of a look, um, like a tilted head and kind of um, a bit of a pleading look. And I just like nod my head slightly, and you know, try to try to communicate without speaking like. Yeah, we know. Like, we're gonna get you out of here. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, Haku um, leans over to uh, Long because we're friends now. We're that kind of friend now. <laughs> uh, and it's just like, wow, who, who's she? She has Ooh. a voice of a lady. Oh, that's Sun Me. She's uh, she's one of the um. How do I put this? Uh, one of the people that came here and uh, isn't kind of uh, easily able to leave, if you know what I mean. Is she a bender? I think she is, but uh, I think um, she the, some of the stuff that happened to the others didn't uh, happen to her. Um, well, she's got a great voice. And that's probably why. This uh, uh, tavern is uh, owned by one of the, the pirate lords, and they get a little bit of leeway um, uh, because it's their deal that they had with the uh, with those Fire Nation types, and uh, they they got to um, they kind of get to do what they want. So they wanted her them, and them be your her. bosses. Well, I, you know, it's kind of a. It's kind of an agreement thing where, um, you know, you're, if you're a captain, you get a little bit of um, freedom, but uh, we still kind of, uh, you know, owe a lot to the uh, pirate lords for having this safe place for us to come to with our, our you know, um, acquisitions, if you... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you're going to say captive. Not captive. Yeah, good. Oh. <laughs> How... Our spoils of... Uh, um, you know, the pirate and life. Roughly how many lords are there? Uh, there are, um, <laughs> some of them aren't, um, known, but the ones that we know of are, there's three of them. Three lords. And just... But some of them are secret, so that they don't, uh, get too, um, out of line with each other. They're, they they tend to spy on each other, and they're not exactly the best of friends or anything like that. There's always... And new pirates are always jockeying for the, for the position, so... You know, I don't get into all that politics. I just like to be out on the sea. You're a good pirate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, I, have another, wait, here, have you. another drink. Oh, I don't mind if I do. All right, so uh, any other questions you want to ask me? So you're a captain, but you're not, like, a lord. Is that, like, an Anakin and Jedi or Council situation? Or is it, like, is, like, is that, like, another rank above captain or what? I'm afraid I don't get your reference. Uh. Yeah, I was like, what the frick's a Jedi? <laughs> is, is, what I'm asking is, A, clarification, you are not a, a pirate lord. B, is yeah. lord a thing other than captain, or are the lords also captains who are just very powerful? Yes, the lords are the captains that have... Uh kind of settled down and uh, been the most successful pirates uh, and have, um, they don't tend to go out uh, raiding much anymore as they have uh, their wealth and they run this town and they um, own all the businesses here. 
and make money off of everything and everybody. And we all pay them a little tribute to be able to come here and stay here and uh, whatnot. Again, Leak food from the sky. Good. <laughs> but uh, since the, um, you know, your uh, Fire Nation uh, folks have come here and made some kind of deal with the Lords, uh, there's been a few changes in uh, kind of the way things go here. Oh, how how does one grant gain an audience with the the pirate lords? I mean, uh, given your kind of uh, newness here, I think you're unlikely to to get that. But if you were to become pirate captains, uh, perhaps you might be able to meet with them occasionally, but. Uh, I tend to stay away from them because oh, uh, they tend we to be are... an arrogant lot and they don't um, take too kindly to other people trying to tell them their business. So. And Hawk is like, oh, I'm like scoffed at the fact that they don't know who we are because we are uh, sky pirates. Hmm. And we travel, we've traveled all the, the four nations. Stealing, <laughs> grabbing booty, and uh, <laughs> making memories. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go around saying that too much around here. Generally, you know, uh, it's best to keep a low profile, as to not to get anyone too jealous of one's uh, abilities, if you know what I mean. But would that uh, gain the notice of? The lords? It might, but probably not in the way you're describing. I guess Haku, like Haku's just like, mm, he wants to pick a fight. He feels <laughs> like it's his destiny. But right. he's going to, he's, he's, he knows that this could go completely wrong. <laughs> so he like, kind of just is like, okay, note taken. Idris just looks at you like he's ready. <laughs> I know. Uh, I know. I just, I too want to punch people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I guess Haku like looks over to Atka and Lee and is like, so where did you see this, like, this, this firebender that seems to be like held captive? Because I think that might be our next lead. At the volcano. Top of the volcano. There's this little, like, temple up there. I think well, I haven't been there. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We'll show you. Oh, I would um, I would stay away from that volcano. Oh, as you... uh, <laughs> um, Mr. Silver, <laughs> sorry, we were, like, this This is a us pirates, not you pirate kind of conversation <laughs> we're having. Oh. Um, I'm so sorry. Here, take another, here's another drink on, on me. Um, and, and, and he actually like takes, like he like kind of, uh, Haku pulls at Atka's like jug or whatever. <laughs> it's just like, come on, give him a give him one of your your concoctions, like kind of thing, like with speaking with his eyes, Anthony, like blink 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 like. <laughs> here, have a drink. It has some, you know, beautiful herbs in it that. Well, I'll just get I'll just get one from the bar. No, she did. This is from the bar. She's the bar lady. <laughs> you look. Remember, you tried to do that last time, and he was like not interested. So. <laughs> He's still very wary of that. Last time when? When you guys you you did that earlier in, in the last game, you tried to give him something. Maybe it was just Haku, but he's he's wary of you that now. There. We were at the volcano. We were in our airship. He's never met me before. Yeah, and I'm hoping that he's like drunk enough now to just take whatever comes his way that's free. Yeah, uh, most drunk people will do that. I know that um Vampire Logan knows that for a fact. <laughs> <laughs> I got well, a story. Lee, Shame. Lee wants to go to the bar and like ask him like, hey, what's good to eat here? Oh, you hungry. you go talk to um, Juan at the bar. 
Yeah, okay. long one, and I get a beer too. All right. Am I able to like separate from the group for a second? <laughs> Everybody's leaving now. Like <laughs> you guys told him to go away so he could have a conversation. Now you're all leaving the table. <laughs> you want to finish your conversation before he comes back? What were you guys talking about? You were gonna say something. Just gonna have Edris wait outside by the door. <laughs> He's like ready to go. But Haku, you wanted to say something. To uh, who? You were having you were having a conversation. You told Long One to to go away. It's a private conversation. And then you stopped having a conversation. No, oh, because we're like ready to go do our own thing, and it was. Oh, like, you guys are oh, leaving. Still, yeah, oh, okay. it was just like, oh, you're still here. Like you're. <laughs> Oh, that was not clear to me. Oh, that wasn't sorry. clear to me either. I thought I thought you wanted to have a conversation without him there, as to what to do next. Well, yeah, but not around him. So you want to leave the bar then? So. Yeah, I th like what I, I'm. Unless there's something else that we can do in this space, I don't know if we should go up and follow the lady with the magical voice. And the many guards, or do we go and like? I mean, we can pursue that, but I don't think we well, should just. You know where she well, is now. Of, yeah. So the original thing people... I was saying is that you should probably try and find out where the people you want to save are, and then take yeah. an initiative to grab them all kind of at once and. Yeah. Get away. Our, how, what is how far are we from like the volcano? Like. Uh, so it's on another island, so they had oh. to, um, like, actually swim across to this island, I guess. Or, I don't know, how did you guys get there? You The airship water dropped bender. you off off, off at the back. Oh, yeah, that's right, you did the waterbend uh, part, the Red Sea thing. And and earthbending, like, the combo, I think they could easily... Yeah. ...together. So you make yourself a little uh, bridge. Get over there. Yeah, I could... I could like make a little make a little platform and then Atka could, could like make the water denser to like make it float or, or just or just bring one up and just raise a, a, a walkway through last time she parted the sea and it got it, something happened with it but yeah anyway you guys get across and you came over here but it was a, it was about an uh, like a half an hour journey to get over here um so the just just so that I'm like clear, um, <clears throat> the volcano's on a different island. That guy is still on that island. Like he, they took him deeper into the volcano than where we are right now. Whereas, yeah. Like okay. So that's two separate places. Um, and uh, sorry, Lee, you you were trying to talk to uh, Juan about something. Did you have something intentional to do, or are you just going away? I mean, it's just flavor. Like, I just wanted to see what's good to eat. But now that we're leaving, I have to get something portable, right? So I just, you know, purchased some portable food. All right. And the uh, Haku, like, kind of brushes up to Lee and is, like, very quiet just so that only she can hear. Um, hey, you're, like... You're a Beifong, like, can you sense anything in this tavern that we're at? Like, um, do you sense anything weird? Question mark? Uh, I mean, any of you could do, any of you could do a assess the situation. Yeah, but she's got, like, seismic, it runs in the family. They can, like... Oh, yeah, and I've got, um, I have... What is you have it? to do some sort of like stomp though, like no, make it like. Oh, she has to take her oh, really? sandal off and put her bare foot on this nasty floor. <laughs> That's what. It's a wooden floor too, so it's not even. Oh, okay, so um, you can't. Like, damn. But you could go damn outside it. and do that. Well, then I can. I mean, do I? I, I look around the bar and like try to six sense that shit. I yeah, like, I mean, I could see you liking that girl. <laughs> can you find out where she's at so we she, can steal she went her? Up, she went upstairs. Well, With yeah, but motivation. like where? <laughs> well, you guys can see these stairs and the landing that it goes up, and it's just 
there's not much other part of this building up there, so. Could we, just, if like, we go outside, we can, like, get up there and... So we're not completely obvious because this is not a tavern full of people. Yeah, I mean, this blind? this building is in an underground kind of um, uh, place. So there's, like, a, a, a the ceiling of this area is, like, a... Um, there's like several layers of, uh, so it's inside of kind of a, a, a rocky um, kind of cave. And then all these buildings are on this one floor and then there's another level up. Um, and some of the buildings go up between the levels. So they're built up into this and then there's another level with streets and stuff above that and then another level above that. I'll just say that that um, you saw that when you were coming in. And... Uh, um, Silver explained it to you. And cool. so you know that these buildings could be you go up to the top part. And, and um, it would be weird if we like followed up those stairs that the Yeah, this seems like a sort of a um that you would know, be weird, the upstairs right? is like a um a private quarter secure area. Okay, yeah. So let's go outside, maybe. Go up a level and try to like maybe eavesdrop or hook our heads through a window or send Edris's fist through a wall and uh <laughs> <laughs> can do that. And, hey Kool-Aid <laughs> yeah. it's a hey, Kool-Aid ability. <laughs> Actually earlier when I asked you about the um if there was an area in the floor. I was thinking about going in like a utility closet and like bursting through the floor and like getting ready to like attack everyone from below. Oh no. <laughs> I mean yeah, you might want to not do that kind of stuff until your guys are ready to go. <laughs> yeah, the investigation a... stuff will be much harder if you start bursting through walls. Start to destroy. <laughs> we are the villains of the soul. <laughs> maybe we maybe we sway um Long one and score him something in the process, right? Like maybe we like make him the despot of Skull Island, and like use his crew and like you know just like have a little coup, and then we can get the people, and then he can have the island, right? And I then we just... know at least like the guy that runs Skull Island is our friend. Right? I, I kind of got the the sense that he's just a, a drunk old man who is lonely <laughs> and needed company. Yeah, you, and you were correct. That was something that 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 I could provide for him. <laughs> <laughs> and he provided that, that us is with still, some information. That is still a possibility. <laughs> what? <laughs> what you do with the captains? <laughs> Um, so can I wear him as a hat? No, I'm kidding. What <laughs> What else do you guys want to do? Do you want to do anything here? Uh, we're kind of floundering a little bit, but yeah, yeah, we are, why don't yeah, you guys just why don't you guys just meet the at the why don't you guys just meet at the table, decide what you want to do next, and then and then make a plan and then do it. How about that? Okay. All right. Let's. We're we're sitting there. We got our drinks in hand. We got some fast food. And long long one is over talking to a friend of his, so he's not there. I mean, the friend... let's think about this logistically, right? Yeah. Like, we... There's at least two places with multiple people who are bigger than us um, protecting people that we need to get off the island. Um, one of them is definitely the right person. We... Or, no, not definitely, but possibly the right person. One person is somebody who we didn't come for. Uh, there's possibly another person that we have a contract for to find uh, on this island. Um, and we know there are more, right? They wouldn't ship them. Like, they wouldn't, I don't know. Like, maybe yeah, there are only one or two more, but. No, there, I, th I think there's definitely more people. I think that this, we've seen that there are a lot of people here who are held captive. Uh, and and against their will. So how do we save all of them? How many islands? Exactly. Yeah. So 
I don't think we can. We need really... to find lords, and we know there's at least three of them. Are they here? Right. We need to, we need to either not use force, or we need more people on our side. Or we make a big, giant, uh, what do you? A big scene. Yeah. We make a big scene, and they can't refuse to ignore us. And then we They're take them there. on uh, using our. Uh, Creativity, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. <laughs> yes, yes. If C-3PO was here, he would tell you that uh, the odds of succeeding in a full-scale assault against a pirate island is uh, astronomically high. <laughs> Never tell me the odds. Never tell me the odds. <laughs> um, well, but, either way, like, we need to find the first right yeah so we need to like... yeah. well the ones that don't shoot back are the ones we take yeah you need <laughs> to do i think you need to do a little more investigating before you take yeah, action yeah yeah fair enough fair so enough. what kind of leads do we have i mean I, I i feel like we should try to try to talk to like the the closest thing that we have right now is the is the uh sun may sun me Mm-hmm. Is that her name? Send me. Yeah. If we can just talk to her, maybe she can tell us what kind of position she's in. Maybe give us a name of who's her captor or why. Um, why why she's here, or maybe even how many others are uh, being held against their will. Well, she's got watchful eyes on her, mm-hmm. so maybe we could like send her a message somehow, like with writing and not sound, <laughs> and not breaking walls. <laughs> uh, the whole building is wood, or like I know that there's like no. These walls are stone. Stone. The beams okay. are wood. Uh, the floor is wood, and these stairs. And if we go outside. Go up a floor, like up a level. We could potentially make a small hole to like whisper secrets through. If the actually, yeah, uh, earthbending might work on the stone um, of the building, so maybe you can make enough point across. Like, yeah, to see if. All right. Keep so... getting a bender. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> what was that? I keep forgetting I'm an earthbender. I could totally do that. <laughs> okay, so is that the plan? Do we all agree? Let us say I on three. One, two... I. 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 <laughs> Me. Okay. I. <laughs> Alright, so I'll say you go out uh, and try to find uh, something on this side of the building. Um, and... Let's say you wait um, a little while just to see if there's... Uh, um... Yeah. Actually, you know, um, there's going to be another set of music, so people seem pretty enraptured when that was going on. Yeah. So let's say you guys wait until she goes on again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you get... Uh, you don't find any people in the street because they're all in there watching <laughs> the show. And then you... What do you do then? We write her a letter and put it under your pillow. Okay, so how do you get it tricky. up there? Is, is her window open? I can send my um dragonfly bunny up there to check it out. Uh, oh, but, uh, let's say uh, there, there there is no window there, but um you can create one. Uh, Lee can create one. Let's say like right. open it and then close it back. I'll like. So let's say you put your hand on the wall and you sort of figure out roughly where the. Um, a room might be based on what you saw when she went up there. And um, you create a window. I'm not going to make you roll for it because I'll assume it just, uh, you have plenty of time, no, not not under pressure. So you make can a small window. Hmm? Plus it's can, we, can we send the bunny to like put it through the window? So, yes. So what do you um, uh, put on the note? You need help? <laughs> um, was need help? Yes, no. <laughs> Maybe. 
Do you have something to offer us? <laughs> Do you have money? <laughs> have a great summer. We <laughs> <laughs> uh, like so want you to come perform on our airship. <laughs> um, no, we should give her a code or whatever so that maybe like in her next set she can like sing a, a phrase to let us know that or do an arm movement, something. Yeah, like uh, a twirl. No, I, we we should think of some. We should think of something clever. We have an opportunity. Um, <laughs> think of something clever, quick. I know. We could. Okay, so we could. So I'm like, I'm like, pulling out like pieces of stone. And climbing up there and then making a hole in the room. Because I know the guards aren't in there and the, the, the girl isn't in there, right? Can we just wait? So... <laughs> the girl is in there. Can't we just fly on the dragon and walk through the window? The her? dragon is not with you. The dragon is too conspicuous. Um, the, dragon? the dragon is uh, out with the... Um, you left it Can either back in the way? ship or back at the uh, um, that extra island near the volcano. <laughs> they were wasted there enough; they might have thought it was a mirage. <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. You still there? Yeah, oh. we're still here. He's frozen. Oh, froze. But in a really good smiling pose, I have to say. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> it is. If you're gonna freeze, that's a good good pose. Mm. I'm so white I reflect light. <laughs> <laughs> I like your shirt. It's got blood. Awesome. Yeah. These pirates have plenty of it. Collected in barrels. Wow, we lost them all together. Oh, no, the screens are going to be messed up. All right, well, um, I guess we'll just uh, continue. So you get the window open. Uh, you make a window. Did you guys want to, like, climb up there and get, get in, or...? That's what I just said. Why don't we just climb in and talk to her yeah. rather than try to send a note? Because there's guards in there with her. Well, she's singing right now, so the guards are actually down the stairs. Do they hang out in the room with her, though? You don't know. That's a fair point. So there's a room that's separate from this upstairs thing? This isn't exactly the way it is, so I'm just going to say that there's a room there. Okay. So why well, that's not that one person go and the other people can wait just in case that one person gets in trouble i think Lee uh, needs to go. After, like yeah what, she's already what seen Lee. about the guarding protocol for can y'all hear me yep yeah i can hear you okay well we can just talk to her about like what she knows about the guarding protocol that um people that are you know are guarded um and like see if we can get any more information from there because i feel like rocking around town and investigating with a captive that is now a fugitive is a bad plan yeah agreed we're not trying to bust her out right now we're trying to learn more about what she knows from the inside right yeah, so if you can, uh, so I guess if you observe, uh, I'll tell you, I'll give you, I'll help you out here. Let's say when they went upstairs, you saw that the guards uh, escorted her back to her room. She took a, she went in the room, but they stood outside on the door. So you know that you can probably get into the door. If you talk quietly enough, they probably will not notice. So you can get in there and talk to her. So if you get into her room now, when they come back up and she goes in there, as long as you can hide, then they won't 
they probably won't notice. Welcome back, Brandoon. Is he back? Uh, well... The video's not back, but it's back. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do that. That sounds like a good plan. Mm, just messed it up now. Go back to grid. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, well, he's gone again. <laughs> uh, 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 well, you're a fan, and, and she knows you because you offered her a drink, right? Yeah, and he already kind of indicated that he was going to help her. I think it should be Lee. All right, so just one of you is going to go? Well, I think only one should in case something happens. The rest of us can help out. Okay. So uh, if, if, if the rest is agreed. So you that. make little handholds for yourself to get up the um, wall and then um, climb in the window. Uh, I'll assume that's you have the time to take it slowly with that because she's singing. Uh, you get inside the room, and then now you need to use your... What did we say was stealth? Um, so I think stealth was uh, using your skills and training. Or actually, does your character train with that kind of thing? Definitely. She's a career thief and... Yeah, Seven so artists. you can use your skills and training, so it'll be a focus. Or... So where will the rest of us will be outside? Um, yeah, you guys can just wait outside, uh, outside the window in case something happens. You can be lookouts. I would go, but I figure if there's more than one, it'll look intimidating. Yeah. Like, like we're, well... Then again, she's a captive, so like, how intimidating is it going to be? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unless she's not. Wait, who are you talking about? The um, the singer. Oh, you want to be? Sorry, what are you what are you saying about a captain though? Oh no, captive. captive. Oh, captive. Okay, yeah, they said captain. Okay, so um. You get in the room, uh, she finishes her, her next set and then comes back up. Um, they open the door, uh, you, did, what did you roll for your hide? Twelve. Twelve? Okay, you're no problem hiding in there. And, uh, then they, they, uh, close the door, she kind of goes and checks her makeup at her desk, and then, uh, what do you do? You pop out. <laughs> in the mirror. <laughs> That's okay. terrifying. Um, okay, she she hears that and sort of looks around and sees you and sort of uh, starts to, to scream but then recognizes that it's you and then so she sort of goes ah! and then realizes that she made a sound and then turns it into a note like she's practicing and then she goes uh, she whispers to you ah, speak softly and uh, I'll keep singing so she keeps singing a song and practicing her voice while she listens to you. Hey, I'm here with three other friends. If you go to the window, you can see them. Um, sorry I made a window. Uh, but you can see my friends. We're here to you and other people that are captives on this island. Um, and we need all the help we can get. So... You don't look like a fighter, and that's okay. I want to know what you know about how people are guarded on this island. Are there shifts? Who's in charge? Like, where are the 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 holes in the armor? You know what I mean? Right. Um, one sec here. I'm just trying to fix the... It doesn't look like Brandon is going to get back, so I'm just clearing the windows. Oh, don't do that. I mean, I'm sure he's still trying. No, I just am changing it on the stream, so it doesn't look like it's... um, It, it gets all screwed up on the stream, so I'm just fixing that. Okay, so you tell her that um, you guys are going to try and help her. Um, She goes... Uh, so she sings, and then in between notes and stuff, she says... 
yes, I'm a captive. Um, the guards keep an eye on me. Uh, they're s some kind of Fire Nation guards. They have a castle on the island that some of the other captives go to. And there's also some people on the volcano that are learning some kind of rare bending skills. We saw that. We saw that. So how many captives are there? I, I don't know. There seems to be quite a few, and they keep bringing more. Basically, anybody who has any kind of strange skills or, or um, rare bending, they seem to uh, bring here and force them to do training. So more than five is what you're saying? Probably, yeah. Okay. And more than lava. What about the guards? You said they have this castle. Um, do they do they work in shifts? Like, do your guards sleep when you sleep? Like, how does that? Yeah, there's always they do go into shifts when it's nighttime. There's usually only one guard at that time. Okay. Okay. But if you. I can't really leave because they've threatened my family. Well, go to the go to the window. We're we're gonna we're gonna make it so that they can't hurt anybody's family that leaves. We're we're gonna we're gonna work that out. We don't know how it's gonna work yet, but we're gonna work it out. Um, go to the window and look at my friends so that you know who your allies are okay okay she looks out the window and sees you guys <laughs> you can there's, save. there's gonna be a moment and there's probably only gonna be one and you gotta know when to jump you know she goes oh how did this window get here yeah. <laughs> she just realized <laughs> they didn't that. they didn't give me a window do you, do you want me to leave it do they come in here uh, they might see it. It should probably... Are you an earthbender? Uh, officially, no. Actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but Good yeah, answer. I'll close the window on my way back down. I guess okay. that's... It's unfortunate that you don't have a window, but yeah, I mean... She says, wait, I, I have... I can give you more information. Um, I have a few minutes before my next show. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, no, I let, let me let me get a pen. <laughs> All right, she Welcome tells you, friend, you she tells Did you we, that that the Fire like, Nation here is that's that's a funny picture for Brent. <laughs> he looks but, angry in his little little picture there, like he couldn't get back in, so that's his picture. <laughs> well, we can see him now. <laughs> you can see it now. <laughs> Either way, you're frozen. The picture was beautiful. It was perfect. <laughs> oh, we can hear you now. Like, okay. I could see all you guys, and like I could hear everything. And then um, I ended up shutting it down and restarting my computer. Now I can't log in or anything. So hmm. <clears throat> try it again. But, um, well, we got your voice anyway. That's good. Did I miss much? So they um, decided to go outside the. Um, the building and make a uh, window in the room that she's in. Uh, Lee went up into, or uh, climbed up into the room, and when she came in there, uh, Lee had a conversation with her and is getting some information now. So everyone else is still outside. Yeah, they're just keeping watch. Okay. And uh, uh, so she right, says, jump back in. She says the uh, Fire Nation. Um, uh, Troops that are here, they they um, uh, there's several castles here, and one of them is is taken over by the Fire Nation that came here and made some deal with the pirate cap uh, pirate lords, and then the other castles are owned by the pirate lords. Um, she says that some of the prisoners that come here, most of them go to the to the fire. Uh, Nation people and these Fire Nation are different than the regular Fire Nation. They seem to be some kind of 
secret organization from the Fire Nation. They uh, have come here uh, to sort of make, find a new power, find new powers to help them um, with whatever scheme they have in mind. Um, probably some kind of conquering thing like they did in ages past. And they, uh, um, most of their captives, the ones that are training, uh, the, the, um, their, uh, monks or troops, they they bring people here to train. And then once they get trained to a certain level, they move them out and bring more in. And they have, um, they have several trainers, uh, uh but they only keep one of them at the volcano, um, and they take the other ones back to their castle, and then, depending on what they she what their skill is with, she, she, how long they've been there, how long they, how long each trainer stays in its rotation. Uh, she doesn't know anything about that. She just heard overheard some of that from, from uh, the working in the tavern, okay. and. Um, she does know that some of the pirates here don't like the Fire Nation being here because since they've been here, there's less like plunder to be had because the Fire Nation doesn't like them doing that as much. And so they pressured the the um, pirate lords to to curtail it. And the the um, pirate lords don't even go up much them in, themselves anyway, and they're getting paid very well by the by the fire nation so they don't really care what happens with the other captains but um a lot of them grumble and complain in the tavern about about that that they're not getting any of the that the the pirate lords are taking everything and they don't get they can't even do their regular plundering anymore none of us can hear this right uh, no, she, she's making notes. I'm going to tell you later, though. <laughs> but you can assume that she tells you later, so whatever you hear right yeah, now, you yeah. can assume you know. Um, okay. Um, and that's all she's going to tell me? Uh, let's see. Can Haku, like, make a little gust of wind and just, like, kind of levitate up a bit? To get into the window and like poke his head in. Oh, um, she tells you, <laughs> you want to poke, you want to levitate up and poke your head in. Yeah, sure. I want to like do some air bending, like get up oh, and be I like. I can't hear Brandon. You can't hear me. I can hear him. Oh, well, as you can hear him. Oh, um, you might have him muted on your screen. If you look I'm under on. his thing, you might have a mute icon on him. You might have accidentally muted him. So on your internet type thing. Okay. Uh no, but that's. Oh, that's I got fine. I got video back for you. As long as I have... everyone. Yeah. Oh, I'm you all. I'm everyone now. I just can't hear. <laughs> I had you muted, and now you're back. Or video muted. So. There and we everyone go. else can hear Brandon except Halloween girl. Okay. So. Weirdness going on here. Uh, yeah, the stream looks fine. Okay. Anyway, um, so yeah, she also tells you a bit about her situation. She was a um, uh, waterbender, but they keep her um, away from water, so she can't really do anything. And she was supposed to... Um, be, be used for training people, but she, they realize that she doesn't really have any of those special skills. She was captured in a raid with a bunch of other people. And, That's um, like, they have her performing in bars. If I was performing in a bar surrounded by people with glasses of alcohol, that would be easy. Mm, that's true. <laughs> well, <laughs> anyway. But they're, right. they're not like right. they're not the bad guys. But she's Sorry. not she's not um it, she can't do it anyway because they've threatened her family. Uh, okay. So, but yeah. they tend to keep her uh held up here and also she um uh she but because uh they were actually going to um 
uh, actually kill her uh, because she wasn't useful to the Fire Nation. But the uh, one of the uh, pirate lords heard that she was a singer, and so they wanted her for their tavern. And so this tavern is owned by one of the, the pirate lords, and she was taken by them. Where's her family? Her family is in Republic City. So um, you you can tell her that you guys are from there if you want. Definitely. Okay, you let her know that you're from there and that you have contacts there that can help her family. Low pay. I do want to clarify, is it the Fire Nation or the pirates that have captives? Uh, both. The Fire Nation is capturing mm -hmm. them for the purpose of creating and training their armies. Uh, the pirates are just taking ones that the Fire Nation didn't want so that they can just use them for whatever. But um, she does say that um, since the Fire Nation came, they've kind of... Um, a lot of the people who were... Any of the pirates who were able to do any bending have either disappeared or hid their abilities mm. because they don't like that. And some people have actually disappeared. Mm. Hmm. So a lot of the pirates also grumble about that. I guess it's uh, safe to say that there's a lot of those exceptional benders in the um, in the uh, Fire Nation thing. Yeah. In prison. And uh, does she know like who the trainer's name is? Um, she has heard. Um, some of the uh, Fire Nation people talk about uh, Mr. Chen. Okay, awesome. Um, and, and that he's a. Um, they, what would they, happen? They, they complained about him being a very uh, grumpy and un, uh, unforgiving teacher. <laughs> uh, if would does she want to like escape with us? What would happen if like? Um, I, I I know she has like family and stuff back in Republic City, and things could go awry if she up and left. But um, does she want to leave, or is she just kind of okay with being? Oh, if she could be sure that position. she could get away and get to her family before they do anything, or are able to send word, but she's just not sure if they could do that before she could get back okay. there. So, if so she can be right sure... now is not the time, but if she bides herself, that we yeah. might get be able to rescue her on her way out. Yeah. Okay. Does she know anything about like what how they can communicate? Like if they have any kind of like. They would have to. You, you guys would assume that they'd just have to send somebody there to let them know. So it's all there's no like um there's no telegraph yet. And do we know if there's like a lot of people uh, being held captive? Um, and it sounds like there could be quite a few in the Fire Nation castle. And there's oh, that's like the central place. If there were yeah, to be, if there were, the, okay. most of them would probably be in there. Some of the pirate lords might have some, but she doesn't know. She doesn't know who yeah. took away the the people from the town that were benders. She doesn't know where they went or Fair. what happened to them. But, Which, is the castle noticeable from where we're at? Uh, yeah, you saw uh, several castles on the when island. Came in. So there's one at the back of this area, and then there's another. There's two more on either side of it, and then there's also another one that's on a little separate island. And she says the one on the separate island is the Fire Nation one. And that sounds like it's the place where we want to. Check out, no? Or should we go back to the volcano and look for Mr. Chen and maybe he knows more information and because we know he can lava bend, maybe he can help us. Um, you hear a knock on the door, Lee? Uh oh. And uh, she, she says, "Time, it's time, the guards say. Uh, you hide again, I'll just allow your, your same role to apply. And, um, or you can just go out the window and close it, I guess. You head out the window and close it. She goes, just a minute. 
and then you go out the window and close it, climb back down. Uh, she goes down and does her, her last set. And you guys are free to do what you want to do now. So the window is gone. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back up and open the window again after she's there. Okay. And, like, and um, stick my face through and, like, stick my cheek out and be like, hey, can I have a little kiss? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, make a uh, plead roll. <laughs> <laughs> Plead. Uh, harmony. Uh, the harmony. Uh, that's a plus two, and I rolled a seven, so that's a nine. Nine. Oh, uh, okay. He. Uh, so she uh, comes over and gives you a kiss on the cheek, and then runs out. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, that's that's what I was asking for. Like, okay. Do you, that was the goal. So I, I don't know if you if you want to. That's, that that's what happens. That's fine. Cool. All right. And then uh, she goes back down, does her set. You climb back down. And what are you guys going to do now? Uh, yeah. So Huck is just like, <clears throat> do we want to go back to the, uh, uh, to the volcano and try to meet up with uh, Mr. Chen? And see if he can help us and if he knows any more information like how what how to get out of the sticky situation or do we want to check out some of those castles castle sounds like a good place to start i mean if we check out the castles we can you know we can start at the castle we can find a group of guards and we can follow them to wherever they're going to post right and that way we can pretty quickly like find each of the people being guarded right but we don't know how many people are being guarded well i guess that's yeah the fire the, so we go to the little island then that has the the, the fire castle, nation castle the fire nation castle yeah okay because if there's a lot of people going getting i mean this is a democracy so please give us what you'd like to vote <laughs> <laughs> Part of your, me just your wants voice to start firebending and get kidnapped. Does it? Does I know it... that's part of me too. I'm just like, like, let's just get captured, and then like, at least we're taken to wherever everything's happening, and then from there we like break out and. I mean, Edris has the best <laughs> chance of of like infiltrating and pretending to be a guard, right? Right, because he's got the escapes. Well, and he's got yeah that too, but he's also got he is fire na fire uh, bender, so he can play a fire bender pretty easily. So uh, going, so you, your choices are let's say um, uh, going to help, uh, going to the volcano to to see if you can get Chen out, uh, going to the um, uh, Fire Nation castle, or going to one of the pirate king's castles or pirate lord's castles. That's, I think, your three options. Or going back and drinking with, uh, with Juan. <laughs> yeah, just why, why campaign? Just drink, drink with him. <laughs> you might have more information. Who knows? <laughs> just stay there the next three sessions. Yeah. <laughs> just stay in the bar and get really, really. Cool. Everyone, clear your fatigues. Everyone, clear your conditions. <laughs> Everybody knows us, and then we make a move. Yeah, you just get to everybody to know your name, and then then they're friendly with you. <laughs> hey, <Yeah>. Edris. <laughs> um, yeah. What's so, what do we want to do? Butt on this chair. Well, if we save Chen, then he could maybe help us because he's a lava bender. Yeah. You said in earlier games we can split up too, right? But he also that. sounded grumpy from what you guys <laughs> said, so That's he what might they be. Do in all the horror movies. <laughs> Bad idea. And you know, depending on how good he is, he's right next to a volcano. <laughs> to take a, take yeah, a you can just out next to a volcano. <laughs> yeah. Get him to erupt it. Right. If we could just tell all the all the captives, like this was a joke originally when I started. Saying Maybe this is a real thing. Like, maybe we could just, like, get all the captives, like, in the know 
and then have Mr. Chen fucking explode the goddamn lava, you know? <laughs> like all at once, right? right. All right. So does that How mean we have to split, split up? Do we have to split up again? Because, <laughs> like, people. we need a team to, like, go warn the captives. The and then everybody. another, yeah. <laughs> Just Pompey it. <laughs> Pom Pompey it forward. Oh. Are we that kind of good guys? <laughs> no, it's okay. We're preserving them. We only <laughs> came here to save one person. <laughs> Two. You're also supposed to find the uh, librarian. Remember? Oh, what? There's a librarian. So were, you not, were you not here for that one? No. Oh, yeah. You weren't here last week. Yeah, there's no, a librarian. Well, if we break everyone out, we'll find it. All so much okay, so, like, what... This is sounding more like a bigger, like, revolution thing. Um, yes. Step one, in whatever case, is find the captives. So let's yeah. not yeah. put the cart before the horse, you know. Okay. The island is so the most of uh, the ones that you already we, know, you already know where some captives are at the... Some um, captives, but that's the thing, is, like, yeah. do we have to go to every single castle, then? <laughs> And I mean, your captives are in another castle. If you find all the captives you're looking for, you could save some now and then bring the authorities back to save the others. Right. So we should probably. Okay. Um. I'm thinking the volcano and the Fire Nation place. It's going to be where most of them. Those are two. Yeah, those are two okay. like major leads. I personally want to go to the volcano. Because you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> well, yes, but now I, I like Haku wants to see it. He, he's just like, okay, so let's yeah. narrow it down to volcano or Fire Nation Castle. Uh, like, you can still can see both, one? like probably not today, but and next time you right. can investigate the other one. So Haku, today, are you advising us to not split up? I well, it'll just take just as long because I have to go one group and the other group, so that just right. means one group of people is not going to get to. Do okay, anything. okay, let's go. Let's so go, go together. To the Don't split fire... party. Yeah, okay, let's go to the know, fire. The whole movie thing. Let's stay together. Yeah. <laughs> let's do it. Also a D &D. Let's do the 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 castle we'll, uh, first. Slay then. together. How okay, how many votes for castle? Tag team. Let's just castle. Let's do let's it. Raise your hand if you're going for castle. The cat the, the, the captain. And volcano. Right? Volcano. I mean I'm indifferent. Oh okay. we were the decider. <laughs> No pressure. All right. Uh, I'll bring you to the castle. Okay. Haku, I was literally thinking of, like, people trying to, like, firebend back at us in, like, the volcano, and, like, you just vacuuming to where they can't firebend, and then, yeah. back and then pushing it back in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oops, sorry, and then I just, like, <laughs> no, throw lava no, at you. <laughs> okay, so this is the... Fire Nation Castle. It's kind of on its own little island uh, with a moat Ooh. around it and uh, a big skull. They all have skulls. Um, so you guys gonna kind of um, transport your way through the the water over whatever bridge or or um, is parting the ways uh, to get there. And um, this is kind of what you see. Uh oh. You can make a. Kind of a, a, a walk around the exterior to kind of get your idea. I'll just scroll around it so you can sort of get the idea. All this broken part is not broken. It's actually all intact. This part of the map I got. Uh, are there like guards and stuff? Oh yeah, there's lots of guards. Okay. I'll climb that tower. So each of these towers has at least four guards. Oh uh, yeah. The walls have guards. It seems pretty... It, this is the center of all the Fire Nation stuff, and they're all Fire Nation guys with that that same armor that was um, sort of the the more metal version of the of the uh, uh, official Fire Nation armor. Okay. So from your observations, um, from the outside of it, there's all these towers, but there's one square building that you can see from the outside. Mm -hmm. So that seems likely if that's where the main people would be. 
And so you assume if it's a castle, it's probably got a dungeon. So that's probably where the that thing prison is going to be. Entrance. What? That looks crazy. Is there a moat around the castle? Yeah. A water moat around the castle. There's this bridge here. Perfect. Yep. Skull head right there. That's awesome. Oh, there's a barbarian out in front. I don't know what he's doing there. Kill you. Throw him to the sharks. So yeah, there's lots of guards up here. Um, but we have a water bender, we have a water and, bender and an earth an bender. Earth bender and so you technically could go and an air bender, so you could put air around people's heads, go underwater, and then yeah. dr drill into the castle drill from there. In. Let's do it. Grid tunnel. Bust <laughs> through the wall, uh, <laughs> Kool Aid man, it. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna say you look around and you see that there's a little bit of a crack in the rock here. Yeah, um, but yeah. So where the green goo is. Yeah. It it isn't green goo in this in my version of it. But it's so sticky. It'll be once we're th done with it. <laughs> so um you can uh, go under the the um, water. It's nighttime too, so they're not going to be able to see you very easily. Um, and you can make your way over here. You can make a tunnel into the castle. Um, at this point, let's do it. Secret tunnel it. And I'm gonna just take some rocks out of here. That's Lee earth bending. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Actually pulling those rocks out. Let's go down there. Ah, and you find your way into here. Remember, Lee, when in doubt, rock shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And give me pebbles, and then I can like make a little air vortex and shoot it at people. Oh no, they're all dead. <laughs> just, just. Get oh no, me a metal pipe. <laughs> no, uh, let's get rid of these skeletons. <gasps> they look so peaceful. <laughs> all right, so you find a um. Uh, you, you slowly open a little bit of a hole in the floor here and find that there are uh, a bunch of people on pallets uh, sleeping. And uh, you don't see any guards in this room. There is a, um, a stairs going up and there's a locked door down there. Or up there, I mean. So I'm going to... No, we're too late. Some of them are dead already. <laughs> in there um, come on. oh yeah that doesn't work be cool if this like program had a thing where you could just convert jolly like marked guy people in one spot like where your uh -huh. house is <laughs> and then maybe like pull them out of each other I don't know All right, well, I'm not going to, um, it, that's a room in there. You guys can, um, just assume you're in there. Yeah, we're here. Um, are they sleeping? What's like, what's the yeah, vibe? Yeah, they're sleeping. Are they startled by, like, they do they notice us? Uh, let's make a, um, so Lee is doing the, the, um, earth bending. So let's see if it makes any noise. Uh, let's do, uh... Rely on your skills and training, so focus. Ten. Oh, wow. Uh, did you roll? I did. Yes. yes. Oh, what did you get? Sorry. Ten? Okay, so you successfully get in without making uh, any noise to wake anybody up. 
Well done. Um, uh, Haku does an assess the situation. Great, roll that. This game makes me think of really messed up ways to bend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is a seven plus one, eight. Eight. Okay, so uh, you can ask one question out of the what here can I use to who or what is the biggest threat? What should I be on the lookout for? What's the best way out? Uh, what should I be on the lookout for? Um, you, if you are going to do anything in here, the guard, you, you sense that there are guards uh, just outside that locked door. And there is a, a like a little grate in it so they can look in every once in a while. Um, so you think that's probably the biggest thing. If there's an if there's an alert, you think that a lot of guards will come down in there. <laughs> okay, Haku has an a devious plan. <laughs> we could do a couple things. Um. Oh, oh, actually, no, 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 no. Uh, he looks over to Aka and is like, "Can you uh, use your water bending and?" Put some water on the the is it a, it's a grate or is it like something that opens and closes like it's like a little um a little tiny window with bars okay um hmm i just realized she can water bend her elixirs that's scary yeah <laughs> right drug people like that <laughs> well maybe we want to do something like that to the guards that are just immediately outside of uh this um, communal cell um or we can like block uh probably be easier uh, to block the thing than to get block them to the drink thing. something yeah um hmm can we maybe make some muddy water or something and then freeze it so that they can't really look in and then they can't really open the door if we blocked it or froze it as well. I mean, if they go, idea? if they go to look and they see that it's blocked by something, I guess they will. They're gonna be like, yeah, be they'll be like, that's anyway. weird. Hmm. Uh, so the the other the other thought that I have is I just like do the little vortex of air around their heads until they can't breathe, and then they collapse onto the ground. And then are they alive? Are they not? It's up to you to decide, but they're they're unconscious. <laughs> well, I mean, I can impair them in ice. It's one of my skills. It's called theft of ice, and I just breathe on them, and they're impaired. Yeah, you want something though that's not going to let them scream. So maybe scream, both yeah. those things will work. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's okay. Let's so you can you can and then freeze them in, in you can in freeze place. them in ice. You can put something over them so they can't they can't speak. Okay, we'll do that. So make yes. your, uh, so both of you will make a uh, rely on your skills and training roll. That to is do important. and yours is the uh, technique. Does it say anything special you need to roll under the technique? Who? Okay, so then I guess you can just do it. Done. What did you get? Can we say, like, just sits at the the entrance. And, um, you know, watches out for incursions or whatever. I okay, mean, you keep an eye out. Um, so yeah. what did you roll, Halloween girl? Oh no, someone's gone. I rolled a six. Okay, so, um, you... I don't uh, need to roll my technique. <laughs> Yeah, but you no. have to roll to do the to do any bending. So um, a six, and you add your focus. Did you add your focus? Which I believe is two. Yeah, I didn't add my focus, so it's two. So that means I got an eight. Okay, so you do it, but imperfectly. Okay, and then uh, um, Haku, what did you get? I got an eight, but my focus is minus one, so I got a seven. Seven. Okay, so you also do it imperfectly. So basically, um, they are entrapped in the ice. 
uh, they are they do have a, a thing over their head where they can't um, make any noise. Um, unexpected consequences. Um, you can. So I'm gonna do some uh, consequences, but if you don't want those consequences, you can mark one fatigue, each of you, to make it actually work. I think it's fair that because we're on the other side of like a door or whatever, and we're trying to like yeah, it was hard to do. Like it's just like oh, there's like two people or whatever. We're trying to like, I'm I'm happy to take a fatigue, but uh, pray tell us what the consequences are because maybe it's well, worth it. If if you're um. Uh, so for the the voice one, the, some sound might escape before you put it over them. So if you spend the fatigue, you can do it fast enough that they can't talk. And for the uh, ice shield, uh, if you the consequence will be they will have one hand free. You didn't get them fully encased. So if you spend one fatigue, you can get them fully encased. I'll Is it just a hand. Or... A I'm gonna okay. spend a fatigue. Okay, so you do capture them. Uh, fully, and uh, they don't make a sound, and they are encased in ice. Teamwork. Okay, and you can't open the door to check on them, so they're just there. You can hold. You have to hold it um, for while they're while you're doing whatever else you're doing. So what's what are the other two doing? Well, I guess we'll assume Lee is keeping an eye out, as as she said. So what is Edris doing? Edris will just kind of look for the, like, toughest-looking I mean, prisoners so that they're not, like, jump-scared, hopefully. <laughs> and punch and them. Like, kind of, <laughs> I find the toughest prisoner in the yard and punch <laughs> them. That's what you're supposed to do when you're in prison, right? <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of um, shakes, shakes him a little bit to, like, wake him up. Okay, so you uh, wake someone up, so make a... He does, like, a shush. Make a, um... I'll call this a guide and comfort roll. So harmony. <laughs> oh, or or you can use push. Your, help. You can use push your luck if you want for passion. Help? Yeah, help could be an action too. I mean, we're here to help them. There could be uh, hate. Oh, wait, that doesn't. That's not how help works. Oh. It's helping someone in combat. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Or sorry, not in combat. It, it allows you to take give one take one fatigue to give someone a to plus give one. Give somebody else, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, just roll either um, harmony or passion. Uh, harmony, I've got one harmony, and I need you to roll for me. Oh, I'll roll my dice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so it is a. Oh, 11 plus 1, so that's a 12. So yeah, you no problem. Slowly wake up one of the guys and um, and basically you tell them um, what do you say? I say um, we're working on a plan to get everyone out of here. Um, can you get everyone else in? Okay. He, he uh, nods and uh, is quiet and then qu you and him quietly wake up the rest of them. And, and uh, then when they're all kind of awake, I quickly ask them if any of them has like any of the special bending so that we know. Um, yes, several of them do. Which bending? Um, I haven't really planned it out. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. There are, um, hmm. are they prepared to defend themselves? Like if we make an escape and, and can I ask so, something? While sure. I'm... Sure. Yeah. Um, Haku wants to know if like there's anybody else or is, is, is this everyone who's accounted for in this room? Cause we can escape the same way we came in. Uh, they say, um, they're only, uh, Basically, some of them have a uh, um, family that uh, they have been threatened. In in this complex? No, like... in other places where they're from. So they are concerned <laughs> that if they escape, that their family will be in trouble. 
Okay, Haku is prepared to do a plead. Okay. Just kill everybody. <laughs> um, then they can't like, harm your families. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, if you die in here, your families will also die out there. And and we, we're here to help. And, um... Um... Okay, so roll a harmony. That. Come on, the come on harmony. <laughs> Ooh, eleven plus two, which is thirteen. You definitely convince them that uh, you guys like, are gonna is... take care of their families. <laughs> and I, I just uh... have to be like, because my whole character's thing is about destiny. Is just like, look, destiny. Uh, or the universe um, favors those who are decisive, and now is the time to rally together and uh, save ourselves in this battle, so that we can recuperate and fight for our freedom and save our families. If you stay here, how are you, how can you guarantee your family is safe? And I hope that erupts the them into being like yeah let's uh, get out of here yeah you do an inspiring speech and uh they they um agree to go with you this might be their only chance to get away so um they do tell you that there is another um uh prison cell in another um in another section castle? of of this castle <laughs> oh of this castle yeah yeah do we need to save them <laughs> stop it's fine we got lost. <laughs> Look at the good we've already done. I mean, their families will probably be safe if they're still there. But they do, um, uh, they do say it's it's past uh, a guard room, like it's up the stairs through the guard room, and then down another set of stairs. Well, if there's a whole bunch of us, do we feel as a group that we can take on the rest of this castle, like all the guards and stuff? And save the other people. Well, uh, I'll just say that if... Lee Lee puts up her hand and goes, "Well, I could just tunnel through to the other one if they know what direction's in." Oh, <laughs> yes, forgot that one's an air uh, an earth bender. Oh, and they go, "Oh, um, uh, we should do this. We're we should we we need to. We're here. We need to help." Okay, so um, you guys. Uh, I'll just make another roll for, for Lee, then, um, to make mm -hmm. tunnel through to the right spot. An 8 mm -hmm. plus, I think, 2, so that's a full success. So, um, yeah, he manages to find the, or she managed to find the, the right place for the other room as well, and you guys repeat the same process there. Do I need to roll again? For yeah, so roll again to capture lead? those two guards. Oh, to capture guards? I thought just yeah. can we not um, the, You have knocked unconscious the two uh, oh, from air asphyxiation upstairs. And so froze you, them in and place. And they're frozen in place still. It'll okay. melt it's eventually. You but, I kind of burn. And then you can do the same thing on the guards on this door. Um, you can, what, what did you say, Idris? <laughs> I, said, I said it's up to you two. I kind of burn. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, your kind of abilities aren't really... It's useful in a stealth operation. <laughs> uh, but you did manage to wake up that guy without making a noise. Okay, so uh, make another roll for Halloween Girl and Brandoon to do the same thing on the other side. Can I roll, and if my roll is a fail, can I activate my Echoes of Legend? Yes. Sweet, okay. I think it specifically says that. Ooh, no, I'm good. I got... Uh, I got a nine, and my focus. It's focus, right? Actually, it says you choose before, but that's fine. Yeah, it's okay. focus. Okay, I got a nine minus one, so it's eight. Yeah, so same thing happens. Uh, you can spend another fatigue to make sure that one works. Yeah, uh, sure. What did Halloween Girl get? I got an eight plus my focus is ten. Oh, great! So actually, yours works without a problem. I I actually. What what happened? What is the condition? Uh, it's just a one fatigue. Make a sound. 
No, just, I don't know about oh, what will happen? Yeah, they can. They might be able to make a sound before you get the thing around their heads. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's risk it. Because you've already. You're gonna. Yeah. I. I do I? I mean, uh, you, you have full fatigue, so it's only. You have five of them, so. Yeah. Okay. What okay, else fine, are you gonna fine, spend fine. them on? True. <laughs> I'll use a fatigue. Yeah. Okay. Let's just not be. Let's not risk it. So you guys get them uh, immobilized, and then you get these uh, other people awaken. Oh yeah, uh, Edris, make another roll for waking up the next guy, or I'll make one for you. Harmony. Harmony plus one. One. Yeah. Ooh, it's a five. This time somebody um, starts awake and goes ah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you kill them. <laughs> Burn them. Can down. I? <laughs> you punch them in the face. <laughs> they go back. They get knocked out. But it's not a big deal because you actually already immobilized the guards that could hear it. So yeah. So and uh, can Haku do a, his plead again for the same reason? Like yep. The... Go for it. Wait. Uh, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Same thing. Sweet. I'm like, I've already had this conversation with the other group. <laughs> They're all on board, so if you want to stay here, fine by me. But we're leaving in the exit that we've created all over right. yonder. So you get all the rest of them out. Um, this is the two. This is the whole um, set. Them. There's about uh, thirty people. Oh shit! Wow, we <laughs> saved Are fifteen we in each people? one. And uh, you get them out of the castle and. Uh, um, through the water and over to the island uh, when someone on the castle wall notices and goes, I, there's an escape! <laughs> and that's where we'll end the episode. Yay! <laughs> Do we have our dragon? Can we get? Can we summon our dragon you next episode? Volcano. I mean, you can certainly try. It may we take have... a few rounds. We have 30 people plus some awesome benders. Yeah, and for next time I will figure out what their abilities are and uh, and let you know. Yes, great. And then I hopefully we can have an epic battle. Yep. Yay! Like that was exciting. I'm glad we got, got to something. <laughs> <laughs> you actually got to do something instead of just finding out information. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, what we after? had to drop but uh hopefully yeah. everybody's connection will be better next week yes hopefully um now that we've completed a session though um yeah let's do the growth questions yeah so did you learn something challenging exciting or complicated about the world uh you all get yes. that point uh, did and then you once we can you clarify once we get a point what does that mean um you just add them up and then you can spend four of them to get uh one of the things that are on that list there okay um I'll give you that in a sec if you need it. It should be on your sheet, actually, what you can spend your points on. And you have to put a check mark in each one, except for the ability points, uh, when you get them, because you're oh, only allowed a certain amount. Growth advancements, yeah. Okay, so we got... This makes me wish I had a printer. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, yeah, where were we on... Uh, did you learn something challenging... Oh yeah, we got that one. Did you stop a dangerous threat or solve a community problem? I think rescuing the people is counts yeah. for that, for sure. Did you guide a companion towards balance or end the session at your center? Is anybody... Nobody moved their balance, so is anybody already at center? No, but I'm like off balance right currently, and I don't know. Can we... How does... How do I change that? Uh, someone else can guide and comfort you. Okay. And that will allow you to... Oh, no, that clears a condition. It's okay, buddy. It'll be all okay. Eh, that's okay. What's the next question? Um, uh, so, yeah, did you guide a companion towards balance or end the session at your center? Um, so, yeah, if you are at center, you can get one for that. So is anybody at center? Mm -hmm. No? Right. Okay, so that's two so far. And then on your actual sheet, uh, you should Edris, have... Edris is at center. Oh, you are at center? 
Yeah. Okay, yes. so then, yeah, you get three. And then on your sheet, you should have one more growth question. Um, uh, so for Guardian, it's, did you pursue a desire or goal of your own outside of protecting others? I'm trying to think. Halloween, that's you. Did... Did you pursue a, a desire or goal of your own outside of protecting others? Uh, I think so. Mm, what was it? Um. I don't. I don't. I, I don't think so. Unless you oh, okay. know. Oh, I thought you said I think so. Okay. So yeah, that'll be two for you. Um, for the destined, did you spend meaningful time with someone else focused on their concerns and troubles? I think so. I mm, I guess you did a little bit of that with Juan. <laughs> I, I guess I could count that. Um, and the the whole like helping other people. I mean, I guess it was kind of their concerns and troubles. Time with someone else focused on their yeah i guess uh, yeah i guess sort of uh, either one or the or the um the stinger. girl that, yeah yeah because it's kind of okay. like like uh, um and then for icon uh did you accomplish a feat worthy of your burden and tradition Zoom. um no okay Wait. so that so it was three Free These for are the things we set for ourselves. Like yeah, those are traditions. the your burden and tradition. Yeah. Um, you have the three responsibilities and three prohibitions. Uh, yes. Second. Uh, destroying dangerous or throwing tyrants. Well, they didn't ask for our help, so does that count? <laughs> uh, just kind of help them, never refuse. I mean, it's it's help. kind of an in, it, it's kind of a implied that prisoners want to want to escape. So, um, yeah, but, you have to ask every did, single one of yeah. them. Yeah, did you really want, you want to leave? To <laughs> um, also, for the icon, if you did um, uphold a responsibility, then shift balance towards your role and clear a condition. Did you have any conditions? Um, I didn't, and that wasn't a responsibility. That was a uh, oh prohibition. You broke a prohibition, or didn't break one? I followed one. Choose three then, prohibitions of your burden and tradition. Yeah, then if you didn't break one, then you don't shift as well. So those are just questions to see if you shift your balance or not. But it seems like you okay. were you were staying within it. Okay. Um, so uh, you two got three, and did what's the guardian one? Two. Oh yeah, two. I think is what you got. Yeah. Okay. And I guess we'll talk about Lee's uh, next time. But uh, yeah, so that's your points. Um, if you want to spend anything, you can let me know by next week. Okay. And uh, I, I've been sort of keeping track of them, so and we do it on stream, I so I can go back and look if I forget. Yeah, I, I have no idea where what I'm at. Yeah, I'll I mean, I'll put a notice in the uh, um, Discord chat cool. of what you guys cool. all have right now. Awesome. All right. Thank you. And have a good night, everybody. Thanks for playing, and we'll see you guys next week on Avatar Legends Noir. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, okay, bye. Bye. Uh, I, and I'm going to go raid somebody. <laughs> Sorry about the people below.